And so clearly nobody's listening and nobody is de-escalating to nobody's surprise whatsoever when this is the garbage our politicians are coughing up. At any rate, aside from slamming Sunak for not mentioning in his statement the very reason why Iran responded to Israel in the way it did, that small matter of that destroyed consulate building and the 13 people inside, members of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, the victims at that end, who some in Parliament now want to designate a terrorist organisation, perversely in my view, are going to be made terrorists for being killed now, are we? Starmer didn't put Sunak on the spot over this either, failing once again in that small matter of being an opposition. But their self-defence doesn't seem to extend to Iran. It doesn't apply to them. It's just for Israel. <laughs>